Hi everyone, thank you for viewing again. Alright, today I'm just going to show you something about the Eager Zero and the Lazy Zero uh, disk creation. Um, I'm doing this because I actually discovered something um, after reading the VMware blog and I decided uh, to try it out to just confirm what was stated. It was correct, but however, there was something amiss. I encountered some errors and I'd like to just share this out. So here I have uh, my host uh, down here and um, I have this uh, VM Win 2 k 8 r 2 std It's on a local hard disk. I have a putty session. Alright. And um, just to show you that the path is also on the local hard disk inside the drive. And inside I have nothing else except as one disk. Alright. So here I'm just going to edit this VM to create one um, second disk. I'm just going to create one gig to save time. A thick one, eager zero. And creation. Completed. Take a look. The path is as you can see is underscore one now. Just to check it's tick eager zero. Alright. Here I am. I'm going to do an extension of another gig. So I'm going to make it two gig. It complete real fast. And to your surprise, you will realize that it has changed to a lazy zero. I'm just going to create, I will be able to create and extend this as many times as many times as one, just increasing gig by gig. That is successful. Same thing, now it's 3 gig, alright, and it's still lazy zero. So let's just confirm the disk using VMS, VMKFS tools, alright. Score one, and as you can see from top to bottom, I described in the block everything is actually eager zero until I did my extension and it start to have lazy zero with all the Z there. Okay, so this is correct, and now I have actually three gig of disk. All right, just to let you see again, three gig. There was something that I did, um, and I thought it was a mistake or some error. But let's just going to do an extension of one gig this time round, alright, using the command line. And I'm going just going to do eager zero click, and same thing on this, at like this. You realize I failed to extend the disk. Something is not really correct, right? So what if I do not specify the disk type and let it grow as a lazy zero of one gig? You see that it's also having a problem. What I discovered, which makes it very interesting, is that via a command line, I cannot extend a disk size smaller than what is the actual size so what happened here my this is 3 gig i cannot extend anything equal or lesser than 3 gig however i'm able to do it if it's 4 gig see and surprisingly it doesn't matter which command whether it's a zero lazy zero or eager zero it has to be bigger than the current size. It's taking a longer time because it's actually zeroing the disk. Unlike when you're using the GUI to do extension, it's actually very fast. So let's wait for this to finish. Alright. 3 gig plus 4 gig, I should have 7 now.
it's not appearing in the GUI surprisingly so let's just take a look all right So what happened is actually it's only 4 gig. So it's not actually 3 gig. My mistake here though. What have you done is that it extended this size and zero it. So now let's go back and have a look at this 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 time now. And you realize that it's all is eager zero for my first gig? The remaining two gig I did it at lazy zero and the last gig was eager zero. Total I have four gig. So one gig eager zero, two gig lazy zero, and one gig eager zero again. Total I have four gig now. The GUI do not show this. So I'm going just gonna remove this and try to add this back to see if it reflect the four gig. See here, it's actually four gig. But there's a mix, so I wonder what the grid will display. Let's just take a look. It will still show you a lazy zero. Pretty interesting, right? I'm just going to show you one more time. No more disk. Alright, no more underscore one. So now I'm just going to create any disk. Alright, let's say I create a one gig disk. This uh, will be a eager zero click. Alright, let's call it test VMDK. Eager zero this done and uh, just to make sure that it's eager zero as you can see it's all eager zero so next we want to do an extension and just to confirm that the extent requires the actual growth size after result I just going to put one gig since my this is one gig you cannot put the disk has one gig and you can see that it failed even if I were to specify a disk format of one gig extend of one gig it will fail because extends the size has to be the actual disk size the after growth size so now if I want to grow by one gig I have to add the one gig to the actual disk size which is one gig so one plus one is two so I'll just put two and this time you will create the eager zero extension of one gig and after creation it should be total two gig okay so let's just look at the total size all right you can see that it's actually 2 gig so now let's just look at it so all the first 2 gig are all eager zero so now let's add this existing this into our VM and you can see it's 2 gig
Okay, now let's see the disk. It's actually eager zero for the two gig. Let's just remove this uh, from the VM first. What I'm going to do here is just do another extension. So as I mentioned, the extension has to be the after result size. So in here, I have already a two gig disk, and I'm just going to do a lazy zero disk. So of one gig extra. So I'm just going to put it as three gig the after growth size by 1 gig and alright it's grow by 1 gig to 3 gig so let's just take a look at the size and you can see it's 3 gig so just to make sure uh, let's look at the file format of uh, this disk Here you can see my first two gig is actually eager zero and the last one gig is actually lazy zero. So let's just add this back to the VM and uh, it's now three gig as you can see. So by putting this in You can already see that it's a lazy zero disk. And once it's added, we'll just want to confirm this. And you can see that it's lazy zero. And here, I want, just want to show you something that uh, doesn't really work. So. This is steps optional that I realized the description was out. So if I want to go to use the disk format, there is zero thick, thin, eager zero thick. So we have tried eager zero thick, but I realized something else. One gate dash zero thick. Okay, so what happened, what I'm trying to show you here is that if you do a creation of a lazy zero thick drive, it will work. But if you want to do an extension, it will never work. It will no longer recognize zero thick description for this format. Rather, in this case, you don't specify a disk format for a lazy zero extend. Then it will work. And just to confirm, that these are all lazy zero. I'm just going to show you the file. And you see that all are lazy zero. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this.